yeah, we started that process. And then um, while I was in school, you know, when I, when I, while I was in school, when we had all this, um, you know, because we, we, of course it's, it's an international school. So we had these um, guests, for example, from America who came to, the, to visit the school, or we had, um, you know, Operation Smile doctors mm, mm, who mm, used to come. Mm. Of course, I used to join those, mm. th those activities. For example, they wanted kids, maybe kids from green sets, mm. to come now and play with the children after they've been operated. Mm, mm. So I used to join them and things like this, and then we would perform for them in school, and then they used to be like, wow, that girl, she can be a model. You know, this now, this Wazungu Sasa, they say, oh my gosh, that girl is amazing. She's so beautiful. She's so like, you know, regal. And you know, she can be a model and things like this. And, um, you know, they used to tell my teachers that. All of a sudden, my teachers are telling me how I can be a model or something like this. Even them, you know, a woman walked up to me and told me, oh, you are so beautiful. Do you know, you, you know how you can, you know, you can be a model. You know, I'm like, huh. What? Mm. In the mix of all this madness that's been told mm. to you? I'm just like, uh, no. <laughs> no, first of all, I can't even no, stand in heels. My friends used to put heels because I was, hey, by the way, I was a super tomboy. Yeah. Super. So, you know, you see all these sports I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So now I am, I'm a crazy, crazy tomboy. My friends used to put heels on me so they can laugh. Because I'd be like this, I can't even stand in here. <laughs> I was so, I was like crazy, crazy tomboy. Yeah. So I was being told this, and um, I used to see Nini, these girls of Face of Africa, mm. maybe Naona, Wasjana on TV commercials. Kina, I just met Nani, Alikwa, Anaitwa, Mich Michelle Chetto, what was her name? Anyways, mm. you know, and then also Kenyan, Kenya, Kenyans had this thing with commercials using a lot of points mm. in mm. their TV mm. commercials. Mm. Face of Africa, they were there, but they were also very light-skinned, pointies and things like this. Mm. So I used to look at these things. I admire the girls and things like this, and I used to see they're beautiful, but they're different from me. So, me, I can't make it because I don't look like them. Mm. I'm dark and things like this. The direct opposite. Mm. Mm. So I was being told this, hey, and then um, Ikafika Mahali. Now, when I was, I, I, I took a, I, I took some time off. Hey, I keep starting in real Anyway, okay. <laughs> anyways, so I went. So for now they've told you this. Where I'm at with this story of yours mm -hmm. is, you've been doing this in Greens in, mm -hmm. in Green States. Mm -hmm. There's all these people coming. You're helping all these things, and now people have begun. It's the first time that you've said you're a model, yeah. which is very contrast to what was being said to you in mm. the same where the same people in the environment in the school. Yeah. So all of a sudden I'm being told this. Yeah. So me, I'm just on the ah. Me, my head is just like, wait, stop. You know, don't even. You know, I, uh, my head is not even like yeah. I can't even fathom the fact that I am beautiful, right? I've seen myself always as not beautiful, yeah. not attractive. So what are these people saying? Can even can, do they even understand the standards of beauty? Huh? I am not that, right? So to me, it was just like that was a no no, yeah. even no matter what they said, it was just a no, right? But that is when I guess I think Kina Lekwek had started getting into mm. the international industry. Mm. Mm. So, home, of course, Alekwek wouldn't be considered beautiful, yes, but Sasa Kumbe Ilkwame it had already started, I get it over there. So I now them are the ones coming now into Africa telling me I'm beautiful. Ah yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is this just stop there because what you're saying mm. is just terribly sad. Yeah, I know. And and I again I say I speak it as a victim of somebody who has I d I you know it's nice to say the way what people think. Me I'm not talking about people it's me. Mm. Um so when you said pointy, automatically my my mind went to beautiful. Mm, of course, you see. You, you see what mm. I say? When you said pointy, my mm. mind just it connected and went to, to beauty. beauty. To beauty. Mm. I'll, I hand down that because of programming. Yes, that's true. a power of media and mm. power of TV. It's just now when it's hitting me, I'm just like, why on earth wouldn't we? Why does it take somebody from outside coming to tell us that our own people are beautiful? Mm. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Twisted. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So now, wh where was I? So, so, so the Alequeks now they are there. So you've been told that you're beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Did did any of the guests ever come and tell you you could be a model? Of course. 
the guest now, the American, I'm telling you, there's an American woman who came to walk up to me, who walked up to me, because there was something I was doing on stage. Mm. All of them were just like, I could see all that, all like the, yeah. the, the way the, they looked the white, at you. Yeah. yeah, the Americans, the way they're looking at me, they were so fascinated by me, like, <gasps> You know, I could see you had never been looked at like that. Yeah, so I was feeling I don't know what it was. I was exhilarated at the same time. I'm just like, okay, this is weird. Normally, people stare at me because they think I'm too dark. Mm. You know, I'm oh too dark. I'm not look. I'm not. So, for me, by the way, one thing I always had. Hey, I used to like. Sometimes I used to attack people because I think that. You know how you just walk and people would stare at you just mm. because your maybe your complexion is too dark. Yeah. I used to, you know, it got to a point where I just used to like attack you. Like seriously, just leave me alone, right? Yeah. yeah. Stop doing that. How do you f how would you feel if, if I just stood there and stared at you in such a, you know, in so, such a way? Oh my god. Baka, when I used to walk maybe even like not even too long ago, women keep nini, still keep whatever. And when they see me they still keep nini running to me um offering me nini. Naitwa? Bleach. You know, in certain what? maybe yeah, when my, when maybe I go and walk in uh, walk in town with uh, you know sometimes when you you know walk yes. in town or toy market in this year Kenya yes toy market they're always selling bleach to me <laughs> what yeah they're still selling bleach they always come <laughs> okay it's funny but it's also so sad <laughs> yes so but then oh, no I don't even want to leave this out. there's something you've said that is so crazy you can look the way people look at you. So eyes are eyes. Eyes mm -hmm. are not words. Mm -hmm. But communication is communication. So you, you, what I'm hearing you say is that there, you can, there's a huge difference between how some people look at you and you can tell you're looking at me in a negative way because yes. of the blackness. Oh. And you, you cannot, get it. And you, but at the same time you verbalized and said, when the Americans looked at you, you felt it, it, they weren't looking it at you. It wasn't looking at me. Yeah, they were not looking at me like that. And it was very confusing to me. It was a confusing moment to me because it was the first time somebody stared at me like you're beautiful. but with whoa, oh. right? So it was sort of, hey. This is deep. Yeah, so that was the first point, first time somebody looked at me with that stare of, oh my God, you are so... You're the most beautiful thing that yeah, I've Yeah, 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 you're breathtaking. But then... I even like the way you said they looked at you with whoa. Yeah, I was just like, okay, I'm confused now. <laughs> And, and, I was coming, and can you imagine, Aki, you used to push me to a point where, you know, there was even a point I nilishika nini, you know, it was fair and lovely. Mm. Yani, I was contemplating starting to use it. What? Imagine, there was a point I shikad it and I was actually contemplating, I, you know what, me have had enough of this thing, you know, staring at myself in the mirror and seeing an ugly person. I'm so sick and tired of this right being stared at being 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 teased you know being um i don't know uh, you know yeah. just people saying nasty things mm. to you i'm sick and tired of this right i'm, a, I'm you know i'm human at the end of the day mm. um i have feelings yep. you know um, you want to be loved yeah i want to be loved i want to be beautiful i want to be accepted you know what i want to nini maybe i should try this but i didn't do it I didn't do it. And I used to sleep and just be like, God, please, can I just wake up light skin tomorrow? What? Imagine. No, I mean, like, it's, <laughs> hey, you're a strong woman. I know. And then even, in, like, sometimes I just want to walk in the sunlight because sunlight gives you a touch of a, like, a, nini, a lighter tone. You know, just some specific things like that I used to go through. You know, just demons that you're, you know, you're, you're dealing with yourself mm. because you want to, to be different, you want to fit in, and so on. <sighs> yeah, so it was really difficult. And colorism is still a thing. It I is. mean, to, to, to the point where you're even able to say, just the other day you walk, you're running in toy market mm. and somebody's <laughs> running. No, they're still they, they they running to you asking like they're you still to bleach. <laughs> anyway, there are people watching this and it's and as they watch this they're realizing shucks i've got colorism mm. do you get what i mean yeah yeah yeah. i yeah. mean it's so powerful what you said so 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 okay so because now the american comes and tells you this mm -hmm. it's also confusing to you that you could be a model of course 
But at the same time, you're like, but she, the way she looked at me had truth in it. Yes, it did, yeah. I felt it, I saw that they, they were looking at me differently rather than the way usually people look at me negatively. Yeah. Okay, so what so happened? So that day, I kind of slept. Hmm. What? I was sleeping like, hmm, okay. Maybe there's something there. And I started, I went and started looking at myself in the mirror. I actually stared at myself in the mirror. You know, just trying to find that thing that made those guys look at me the way they did, right? So slowly by slowly, I started looking at myself in the mirror and just looking for that, looking for that. Pole, 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 pole. I started, started coming, started coming. You are joking. I know, I started seeing myself in a sort of a different light somehow from that point. You know, pole, pole too, I started looking at myself. Mm, the beauty started shining through, kidogo, kidogo, somehow, you know, I started getting more, a bit more confident about the way I looked, right? And then, really, now I went, I went to Trokana for a holiday. Now, Just wait. When I was I, right. <laughs> hey, Juma, hey, you're, 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 this, <laughs> I didn't, I, I had no idea this, what this city was. What you're saying is just too powerful. And mm. so, Uzilie? Ntalia. Oh, no, you. Uh, Ntalia. <laughs> <laughs> Ntalia. <laughs> I'm in tune with my emotions. <laughs> so, first and foremost, um, the person tells you that. I'm, you know, I'm trying to process. Man, like, I, I'm, I'm, my mind enjoys pr the, 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 the process of process. Mm -hmm. So, the, the, the person tells you that, that you're beautiful. So, before that, my mind is really thinking, so... How did you used to be before you you had a hard relationship with the mirror? Mm, I did. I had a very difficult relationship with the mirror. I just used to look at myself and I'm like, like you know, yeah. ugh, you know, that's how I used to look at myself in the mirror. But so, then after I saw that look, it wasn't even the words. It wasn't the words. Do you know? Do you know an expression, energy? Yes. speaks louder than somebody coming to tell you something because mm. it's an it, there's some certain it's communication feelings mm. there's some certain feelings that somebody makes you feel that you can't even explain that person doesn't even have to say a word mm. that's the strongest and most genuine fundamental thing that i don't know that will just change you that is what is going to change you mm. not words you know yeah, yeah, just the it. energy you know I don't know. Yes, no, no. You, hey, you, you've so at it. that point, that it just, I was just like, yeah, like I'm telling you. So that this, becomes a shifting point. Mm, huh? That becomes a shifting point of the way I, I look at myself physically. And and now this is the second thing that for me is mind blowing. Mm. So the reason why I'm dwelling on this is mm. everybody has different aspects of definition of beauty. Mm -hmm. So there are people who are in exactly where you are at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Maybe they think they have a big nose, mm -hmm. uh, funny eyes, right, yeah. no teeth, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. lips. Everybody has their own definition of of what they're thinking is beautiful. Mm. So you then went to the to the mirror mm. daily. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is another and, process. And I was discovering. You were discovering yourself. And the funniest like, thing, what is I that? did it on my own. So it was a battle that I it was inside of me you know because um extern externally yes. i had been um like an ugly person had been instilled inside of me right and then now internally somebody is making me discover myself so it was a really it was crazy. a difficult fight within myself mm -hmm. and it was it was just i felt alone in in this i mean i felt like nobody could ever understand me if I try to express it to anyone, my friends wouldn't understand. Mm, mm, mm. My mother wouldn't understand. I just felt like, you know what? This is a battle I need to do on my own because no one ever, ever will will understand what I'm going through right now. So, mm. so my question now becomes: mm. Day one, it's okay because you remember what that person says. Day how one. do how do you keep the fight until mm. it changes? So day one, where somebody nice telling you to go bleach, you you're not even upset. You mm -hmm. just laugh because you're yeah, like, yeah. At that point, this is you you're on another level hey, yourself. At that point, it switched. It switched, Kabisa. Even but when somebody, when people look at me, even you know, I was just like, hey, you know, no. I mean, somebody looked at me in a certain way. Mm. That, Yani, that thing was so powerful inside of me. Even at that point, I mean, going going forward, when somebody stared at me or when somebody said something to me. It didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't react 
oh. emotionally or physically the way I usually did. You know, so it, there was just a typical shift. Even even though I was, even though the kids, uh, people are still teasing me. Or because people outside didn't change. No, the people outside said, didn't change. I changed inside. So what what gave you the battle? Because you said pole pole mm -hmm, pole pole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What gave you the strength to keep on? I don't know. Like I'm saying, from that point, every day, the beauty, my beauty started shining through. Ah. I started, I started seeing it. So I like it I got more comfortable looking at myself in the mirror. In that way, I, you know, it just continued growing, growing, and I started discovering. Okay, um, you have nice lips, you have nice eyes, mm. your skin is so smooth. Mm. You know, these kind of things. You start discovering certain things. You know, about your nini body. Your arms are nice and long. You know, this, just you start now. I'm starting to look at myself. You know, before I wouldn't, I couldn't even. I didn't. I couldn't stand looking at myself. Mm. Now I'm actually looking at myself for a while in the mirror every time and discovering things that were beautiful about me physically right okay. yeah and accepting and accepting these particular things that i was discovering and that is how my confidence grew with my physical beauty and then so now after the nini i stopped i stopped nini i um i took a little break uh -huh. i went to trocana and um yeah just for a little while Mm, there, now that was after uh, during the running. Mm. So there, I was um, my one of my foster brother came along. He was um, he was an he used to do mining. Mm.